basically we had the DRS numbers doing this. Like we're going up, 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 up. And it looked great, you know? And honestly, like whenever I see something like that, I'm like, eventually it's got to come down. But one of my favorite things about the DRS numbers was the fact that we kept going up like this and it didn't really ever feel like there was ever a down moment where people sold and then we went back up and then we went down again. And you know, it wasn't like 10 million, 15 million, 20 million, 30 million, 15 million. 20 million 10 million it wasn't like that you know so i was very like thankful for that because that shows that buy and hold is working and it's proving that when we drs the shares we're not selling those shares like obviously we're holding them right and we just keep adding more to the account so it seems like somewhere in a window here uh, a couple things happen so basically instead of the last earnings report being uh, another step up like we thought it would be here it was roughly i mean it was still a step up but the step ups have been almost almost exactly predictable based on our math we're like yep that made sense so we we, we kind of estimated it would be about 15 million extra another 15 million this time it was like 500,000 more we're like whoa 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 so we only went up to here we were supposed to go up to here <laughs> and we're like, well, what happened? Does that mean that people sold? Because we know everyone in, in our community keeps DRSing more, right? So how is it possible? But who sold? What happened? There was no big institutions that sold. So what the leading theory is, is that hedge funds... <laughs> hedge funds. Drew Soul became a Space Force member right here. He says, a birthday is just a painful end of a pa parasitic relationship. Buy, hold, DRS, be zen, baby. And then he leads it off. It ends it off with infinite risk. Dude, thank you guys <laughs> again so much for these donations. I keep seeing them. I'm freaking out. That's Richard. Those are the biggest numbers ever, man. Thank you. Um, DRS. Okay. So this number, right? So one of the theories is that hedge funds, who did it exactly? Who knows? Or is it coordinated? They bought shares and then they DRS them. So in theory, also, if they control the price, if they bought this DRS shares here and then dumped them before the earnings report, you know, not a good play, <laughs> but they're making money any way they can. So who knows when they sold them or they bought them and made money off the, off the bat. Ironic timing that King grip, I'll get to this, but it's ironic timing that when they sell off the shares, let me start over. Cause I feel like I need to stay on track here. Okay. The hedge fund that bought the shares, the, the idea of it was in case you don't know, was that they bought a bunch of shares and inflated the number from here to here on this blue line. Okay. So because they inflated the amount from here to here, then they had more in their in there basically as ammo to sell off and try to create artificial scare tactics. So they've been inflating the real count for who knows how long and then selling down. The beautiful part is they didn't sell down enough and we still over, we ate up all the ones they sold and registered them and then 500,000 more. So we still beat the last time's number, which is fantastic news. So was it orchestrated by hedge funds or not? Who knows? It seems like a good plan. It seems like a good plan for, for them to try to like make everyone feel a little miserable. Because if you if you think about it, even people in this chat, they're like, I think Zolper came in here and said, oh, the GMU stuff's depressing. It's like, yeah, they're doing a good job of making it feel that way. I'll be honest with you. But nothing's changed, guys. We're still adding more to the pot every single day. I think what really is depressing for people isn't you know, when DRS numbers go down, it's just like, we're hoping that DRS, when it get locked the float hundred percent is like the catalyst for the final end game when they have to, you know, let's see what happens. Basically, we believe they will have to close out their shorts and, uh, not just cover them, but close them out. It's similar to a Volkswagen squeeze. We're excited for that number. So I think a lot of people are annoyed by these DRS numbers, not being another 20 million higher for like what? 71.8 million. And some of us wanted like a huge, another big jump towards the fun, towards the finale, but we're still making progress there. It's just, we have another to be continued, you know, which is super annoying when you want to see the finale. So I get it, but it's also like nothing's changed. We've, rip, we've ridden through every wave of FUD. And if you can't handle this, you are never going to make it in the MOAS in the first place. Never. The first theory we all understand was a hedge fund thing. The second theory was uh, it's book versus plan. 
Because that became like a really big thing right before earnings. It was really weird. And then it was like, what's the difference? And I was like, all my shares are booked. But then some people are like that are buying extra shares directly through computer share. They're not making the switch to make their new shares book. When you buy them, it immediately becomes planned. So let's say you had a thousand, a thousand book shared, right? Book shares. Okay. Then you buy a thousand more. Well, these thousand never get counted. But then I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, right? If that's the case then like this should this number should have been slowed down a long time ago you know because like this would have been happening the entire time you know i don't even know if we would have known so are you saying that our steam and buying has run out and we're not drsing directly from our brokerage accounts anymore people are now buying directly with computer share which is a very likely scenario so instead of you buying instead of you doing this route where you go to fidelity and then you DRS, which I've done. I've done that again, even after I DRS my shares. But I also, when I buy now, I do buy directly from computer share. It's literally computer share and it's yours. You know, it's like you don't have to buy in Fidelity and then DRS it to make it yours. So if you do the first route, you, you, your book, but if you do the second route, then you, it automatically dumps you into plan. And then you have to make sure you change it. So if everybody has exhausted all their, yep, I moved everything out of Fidelity. I mean, everybody moved everything out of the brokerage and everybody is now buying in, uh, only, only computer share that's doing, that's actually registering shares. It's a possibility.